Okay, um, I'm, I'm going to talk about uh, Kriya's experience in uh, working uh, on uh, partnership uh, efforts, but like uh, here I'm just mentioning like the, the funded projects. See, we have like this uh, wonderful collaboration uh, with uh, Kansas, with uh, the New York Botanical Garden, but it's not funded. It's mainly because of uh, the goodwill of those two institutions, and so always offering like in-kind support, but so far we have not been able yet to mobilize like substantial funding to do the work that uh, would further develop the field. But uh, I'm going to mention why CRIA is involved in all those projects. And, uh, so, uh, and uh, some of them are big, big projects, even though CRIA is, is getting a small funding, we are learning in the process. And I think the why is why we should have like uh, local facilities to disseminate information. So I think that that's really fundamental. I think all the countries should have like local efforts to to build up like the databases and also the biodiversity biodiversity informatic facilities. I think this is really important. I was talking here like in the coffee break with our friend like from from Madagascar, and I'm amazed to see what they are doing uh, in Madagascar. And uh, he, he was showing me things that are like housed in Madagascar. And so I think uh, somehow, like, is what they're doing in Madagascar, they are the, the Madagascar Korea. <laughs> and so I think that's, that's really interesting to see. And I think this is really important, like, to manage and uh, to own and manage your, your own, own data and uh, databases. But here, like, um, like uh, as I have told you uh, yesterday, like, Korea's effort is like, uh, let's say, at least 12 years' effort like to put like data and software and uh, software tools and services together and uh, somehow now we we became an essential institution for the further development of the brazilian virtual urbarian and uh, also we hope like that, that in the future together with uh, the brazilian virtual urbarian and the other partners in brazil we will be able to contribute to the development of the Brazilian information system to support uh, policy making. Uh, when you look like this, uh, this institute here, behind this institute you have like uh, nearly 80 herbaria and uh, nearly uh, 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 approximately 80 herbaria with all the curators and all the staff like to to put like uh, to 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 maintain those collections, and with uh, the list of plants of Brazil, we have like a, a network of 500 specialists. So it's, it's you know like uh, that's why like this small institution with a 10 people staff can make a big uh, development or can help to make the developments to occur. And uh, so when you think like, uh, like uh, the, the, the environment like, uh, for collaboration in Europe, Europe now is going through a process uh, where they, in the past 10 years, they, they, they put lots of funding in many competing initiatives. Because like the EC system is, is a system that's very competitive. And so what they have been doing in the past is to fund competitive efforts. And I think that's the same with uh, the National Science Foundation in the US. It's, it's a very competitive system, but there is no way that I, th I think there is not a good thinking to glue all this together in a cooperative manner. And I think now this is, uh, this is happening now in EU because they realize, okay, now, okay, we have like good results of, uh, of all those, those funded projects. Some of them will have like good results. How now we can move like into a cooperation area? And now they have like a very interesting program uh, to establish like the big EU infrastructures 
and one of the, the infrastructures, the Life Watch, that's the infrastructure that's dealing with um, with um, with uh, biodiverse and environmental data. And so I think one, I, I thought that the interesting thing of EC is, is that like one condition for you to submit uh, an infrastructure project, you have like to show who are going to be your international partners. Like for all those infrastructures that are dealing with, uh, you know, global issues like biodiversity, and so you have like to build up like the international network of cooperation. And so that's what uh, LifeWatch is doing through the Creative B project. And so Sambi is a partner in the Creative B project. And in addition to Sambi, that's uh, uh, Data One in the US, the Chinese Academy of Sciences in China, Atlas of Living in Australia, and CRIA in Brazil. Why CRIA? Because, you know, like, uh, basically when you talk about, like, uh, biodiversity data infrastructure, we have, like, this, this work that's consistent and that's very focused, but we have the data. And then, uh, so this is just an example. The other examples, like, uh, those other two projects here, BioVel, why CREA is there in BioVel? Because, uh, you know, what we're doing there? What uh, they, they taught, okay, the open model is a very interesting platform for, for doing modeling. So we want, uh, uh, we need your help like, to do the open model installation in the EGIs, the European Grid Infrastructure. And so what, we are just there participating in this big project. This is a f uh, uh, 5 million euro, pro euro projects and we are going to get, get, we are getting a small fund to work with them to do that. And why we, we are in Aymarine, that's another 5 million euro, euro projects, and why we are in Aymarine? Because we are, G, uh, uh, the, the OBIS node in Brazil is housed at CRIA. And so we are contributing with data, and also we are contributing with uh, this project, like, uh, you know, like uh, with, uh, you know, data cleaning tools and things like that. And uh, those two projects are, are, are interesting because uh, uh, I was telling you about like the EC effort looking into the future. Now like they're looking in 2020. And so like they're just launching the Horizon 2020 program uh, like to, to set up like the, the, the infrastructures. And so, Basically, they want to build partnerships with efforts in other regions of the globe. And so what we are doing in that is to work with, uh, with uh, co-funded projects. Like, uh, so like in uh, 2010, we have like a co-fund, a, a call, a coordinated call to fund five projects of uh, two million euros each, one million for each project, one million euro uh, from, from EC, and the equivalent of one million euro from Brazil. And so um, basically uh, Open Bio project was selected out of uh, 42 proposals presented. Because, why? Why? Because first we had like the infra infrastructure behind. And second, because you have like the tools and uh, the services. And so was, uh, at the end I think was, was a very good proposal. And uh, we are learning in the process of how we can collaborate with Europe because it's not so easy, because it's a very structured and very hierarchical way they do like the work packages. But so it's a very good learning process. And now, there's, uh, now in 2012, there was another call like to further develop like this uh, biodiverse analysis using cloud computing. And uh, CRIA is also in this project, but it's not like the leading organization. We just, we, we just want to contribute with data to do biodiverse analysis. But uh, basically what I'm, what I'm telling, first I think that the lessons learned from Brazil is really important to manage your own data. And second, in order to build up like a true partnership, you have like to have something to offer. And I think then the rest is just like uh, 
taking the opportunist approach and we are kind of some, somehow because of the mall staff we are, we are getting very selective, sele selective in partnership because there is so much that you can work and, uh, and do but like uh, now we are talking with our friends from Kansas like talking about like maybe a uh, new proposal on Plants of America Americas and I think that's that that should be a very interesting opportunity to to explore like co-funding from National Science Foundation and uh, and uh, the Brazilian government and I was uh, yesterday I, wa I was also talking to Lucy because she she was talking about an effort that they have like on plants uh, to 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 make the assessment you know of the plants and associated with the with the, the use uh, of uh, the plants like for for different pro purposes and I think this would be like a very wonderful wonderful partnership with uh, the the Brazilian virtual barn I think like if you guys could use like the species link tools and methods and maybe like make an analysis of this would fit or not uh, with your needs. I think uh, this kind of thing is really important for us to show that all the things that we are developing, we are developing to be like open source, open access, and that's not that's going to be used not only in Brazil but like. Uh, all over because you know our mission is to conserve and use biodiversity in a sustainable way and so we always have to keep in mind what's our mission and how we can collaborate and how we can build like joint efforts and basically this this is a big question for for CBR see because now here we have like funds from GF and uh, the, the GF ask, ask like all the funds they give, okay, how scalable is your project? How, you know, the products of your projects can, can be used to, 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 use, to, to conserve and use biodiversity, not only in Brazil, but all over. And so this kind of partnership is only impo always important, not only to the, to the national uh, virtual herbarium, but also like for the future developments of CBR. So basically, my message is do, do it locally and build up like, like international collaborations based on you know, your own local efforts. So, questions? I guess I behaved well today, Anton. I didn't <laughs> cross, the, cross the border.